I'm here at Simrise with Uta. So Uta, tell me exactly what you do, why you're here, tell me everything you possibly can. <laughs> so I'm responsible for regulatory affairs in Simrise, which means an understanding where we see new legislation coming up, changes in legislation, how we need to implement this so that we are always prepared to have products for our customers that are compliant with existing legislation in all the markets they want to sell their products. And with that, uh, we have an important role to prepare our company also for the future so that everybody feels comfortable with selling our products and using them, knowing that we are always in line with existing legislation. Well, it's very much a, a trend now at the moment, isn't it, with uh, where you've got vegans and vegetarians and it seems that the numbers seem to be growing. So that's kind of where you step in and you kind of deal with the science kind of line. Yeah, it's coming from science because science is the basis for safety and safety is something that is absolutely mandatory. Then we have the legal requirements for, for flavorings as well as food requirements that have an implication for flavorings like organic, GMO labeling, all these things. And a growing demand for ethical requirements. If you think about vegan, we have halal, we have kosher. Uh, we see more and more organic as a trend, especially in the US. Uh, and all these things need to be incorporated into our systems so that we uh, know exactly the, um, all the attributes a raw material is bringing in that is then used by our flavorists to create uh, flavorings or taste solutions that are used then in customer products. So let's say uh, you've got a, a vegan burger, for example. Uh, what kind of boxes are you having to tick all the time to make sure that it fits under the legislation and the laws of everything? I think there it is, uh, especially that you have to take into account that nothing is uh, derived from any um, animal material. So no gelatines, all these things need to be covered. And we have a system where all these boxes are ticked for the raw material so that uh, once we get such a briefing, our developers see uh, that this raw material is fitting into this project and that it can be used so that really the requirements uh, for having none of the materials that are out of the uh, definition of vegan are used. So this is the principle we apply and that means that for the raw materials that we bring into our systems we have around about 460 data points we are asking for. Not all are relevant for each and every raw material, but this is really a, a huge questionnaire that our suppliers have to answer and that is rather painful sometimes for them. <laughs> but we get those questions from our customers and we want to provide uh, all the necessary information uh, on the spot. So this is uh, the procedure we go, to, uh, go through, really asking our suppliers, bringing this into the system. And once we have a created flavoring, we can uh, push on a button and get the information out, can transfer it into the questionnaires we get from our customers so that they have everything at hand. Uh, they need then to put it on their labels to understand that everything is compliant and that's uh, the way we handle this uh, huge amount of information internally. Uh, tell me about you, what made you kind of get into the food business? Are you, are you vegetarian, are you vegan or...? No, I'm eating everything, so I'm oh, not... you just uh, eat. I'm well, just, I'm just we're eating. very similar then. Uh, that's uh, <laughs> my approach. And I'm really coming from chemistry, so I have a background in analytical chemistry. I was working in the research department and was far away from this. And when then in Europe, uh, the legislators started to create the European Union list, so a positive list for flavoring substances, they needed somebody who was uh, comparing our portfolio against this list, so really number picking. And uh, from there, I started my career more and more into the regulatory area, which I thought uh, was very a dry matter when I, uh, I looked from an outside perspective. But I saw it's so interesting, so many challenges, so many things coming up. Every day something new, not always good news, but interesting to master it. And now I'm very engaged also in flavor associations, uh, being active in committees, understanding what's going on, trying to harmonize as much uh, as possible on a global basis legislation so that we really do not see trade barriers that are unnecessary so that there are not these hurdles if you go from country to country because it's sometimes difficult really if you look from a global perspective on this to have a solution that can be used everywhere in the world because there are those tiny little differences uh, from one country to another that make it then very difficult uh, to transfer the, the formula that we are selling to our customer. And that's the moment that's when you step in and save the day. 
We try to. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much, Uta. Have a great show. Thank, Thank you. you.